In this lesson, we are going to be talking about the different types of mixtures that we get. You get two types. You get homogeneous and you get heterogeneous mixtures. Now remember what mixtures are once again. That is when you have two or more different uh, pure substances. And a pure substance, remember, was things like elements, compounds. Okay, we've spoken about all of that. Now we get two types of mixtures, homogeneous, heterogeneous. And it is super, super easy. I remember when I was in high school and, um, or like going through textbooks and stuff and trying to understand the difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous. It was just weird, but it's actually so easy. Have a look here. Can you see only one type of thing or could you see... Um, different types of things. Well, I could say that that's, there's a tomato. That could be a piece of chicken. Uh, there is a, I don't know, green pepper. So the idea is, is can we see different things? Yes, we can. So this is going to be heterogeneous. Heterogeneous. Okay. Here we have a cup of coffee. Now, I love coffee, guys. Now, in this cup of coffee, if you look carefully... I can only see one type of thing. It looks like it's only one thing. We know it's not only one thing. Of course, there's coffee, uh, there's coffee granules in there. There's there's water. But when you look at it, does it look like one thing, or can you see lots of different things? Well, it only looks like one thing. Okay, that's called homogeneous. What about this one over here? Can you see? Um, different things or is it all one thing well no there's clearly different parts there's the there's one part and there's another part so because there's more than one part it'll be heterogeneous just like we said with the salad now what about over here where we've got the jelly well it looks like one thing right obviously there's different parts in there there's the jelly powder there's the water but it only looks like there's one thing and so that is homogeneous just like the coffee Okay, so we're going to do some more examples on the next slide, but I think you get the idea. When, it's, when it only looks like there's one thing, that's homogeneous. When it looks like more than one, more than one, uh, more than one thing, then we'll simply call it heterogeneous. Okay, but Kevin, what's the proper definition? So here are the definitions. For heterogeneous, which is the one where you've got like a chicken salad, well, that's where they say the following. It does not have uniform composition. Uniform just means it all looks the same. And the individual components can be seen. I could see the chicken. I could see the tomato. I could see the um, lettuce, for example. Okay? But then when you have homogeneous, then it has uniform composition. So it means it all looks the same. And the individual parts cannot be seen. For example, I cannot see the coffee granules here. I cannot see only the water. Here I cannot see the jelly powder. I cannot only see the water. So those are homogeneous. Okay, so let's go quickly do some more examples. Okay, so with these you need to determine if they are homogeneous or heterogeneous. Okay, so for the first one with the, 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 the biscuits, can you see different parts or does it all look the same? Well, no, there you can see chocolate chips, there you can see the normal biscuit part. So because there's different parts, that would be heterogeneous. Okay, let's look at this pizza. So you can definitely see different parts. There's like a piece of, I don't know, whatever that would be. There's a pepperoni, there is some cheese. So they are definitely different parts. And so that would be heterogeneous. Let's look at milk. Now, if you look at milk, it just looks like it's one thing. But did you know that milk has water in it? It's got cream. It's got all sorts of different things. So that, but, but, but it looks like it's only one thing. So that would be homogeneous. Okay. And then let's look at Oros. Now, if you look at Oros, of course, there's different things in here. There's water, there's Oros. But if you look at it, it just looks like it's one type of thing. You can't see the different parts. And so that would also be homogeneous. And that's it. Hope that all made sense.